What's up guys, this is Adnan from Android Reviews and today I'll be showing you all how to install any custom ROM on any Android device out there. Without any further delay, let's get right into it. The only requirements which you need for this basic tutorial is an Android phone which has an unlocked bootloader and is rooted. If any of these two requirements are not fulfilled, then you might have chances of heartbreaking your Android device. So make sure you root your Android device and unlock its bootloader first. Another essentiality is that you have a custom recovery installed. In my case, I prefer the TWRP custom recovery as it is the best one out there. Without any further delay, let's get right into the process and how to install a custom ROM on any Android device out there. The very first thing you need to do is power down your Android device. It's just to tap and hold and tap on power off. Once it completely once it's completely covered off, uh, you may go into the recovery, but make sure it is completely powered off. To, uh, to ensure that your phone vibrates when it is completely powered up, down. Uh, now, hop into the recovery menu. This is different on different Android devices, but in my case, it is the volume up and the power button. So let us try this. Hold it for about 5 to 6 seconds until the boot logo shows up. So there we go, there is the boot logo. This is the first time the phone has successfully uh, booted up. And here we go, this is the recovery menu. I am using the clockwork mod recovery menu because it, it is the simplest to, uh, you know, the simplest to understand and the simplest to request other people to use. So you might see some uh, things here such as install zip, wipe data factory reset. So make sure you have the ROM file in your SD card or on your phone. I prefer in the SD card because you are going to format your phone however. The very first thing is to do is wipe data oblique factory reset. The power button is to select and, and wipe your phone. This will ensure that any primary or any secondary data is eradicated from the phone so it is ready for the new installation of the ROM. Once it's done, the second thing you need to do is wipe cache partition because it stores all, all of the temporary junk and wiping cache occasionally on Android devices might be really very helpful. Once it's done, this, this is optional but I prefer you do it. Go into advance and get into wipe dalvik cache this uh, this resets your battery count and the other small things now this is completely optional but now get into install zip and choose zip from sd card 1 or sd card 0 on your so in my case it's the sd card 1 and, and navigate to the rom file and and just flash it right away the flashing process is quite easy you literally need to do nothing so just keep it and hope for the best the screen which you see here is the ROM installation progress let me zoom into that this is obviously different for every ROM some ROMs have detailed procedures such as this one this is the XLD ROM for the Micromax Canals HD and there's step 1, step 2, step 3 out of 8 and step 4 out of 8 it's really nice now uh, we are almost done all you need to do is go back and reboot tap on reboot system now reboot might take a whole lot of time and if it uh, if it gives you this rom and flash roms may flash 
stock recovery on both six so yes disable stock recovery uh, if, if and this might cause you serious issues so once it's done it's time for the boot up this as you can see it is already lighting up the first boot might take a lot of time so once it's booted up once it's booted up you'll be greeted to a whole new ui if you're flashing a whole new ui rom or just a new rom and your experiences will be blissful if this video helped you make sure you subscribe and this is a non from and review signing out hope you all have a good day